For a lot of tabletop role-playing gamers, the online version of their games are very different from the in-person version of their games, especially when it comes to terrain. You usually need some kind of virtual tabletop, which means getting scene assets and character pogs, and everything is viewed like a map from the top. I've also not really found this very immersive as a player, and it's also partly why I find RPG streams unwatchable, but that's a whole different video. This video is about how to integrate a simple webcam into your game using the online terrain crafting system for a whole new experience. With the DMG. Firstly, a word on changing technology. Using a webcam to show your terrain has been possible for years, but technology changes considerably. As this video ages since its upload and new ways of doing things are created, I will add updates to this video in the top right hand corner. This video will not cover lighting your terrain. That is an entirely separate and complex subject, and I have several videos on that subject. Ring a ding ding, the ding a ling ding dong be notified when they drop. Basically you just want enough light to make sure that the image isn't grainy or noisy. So for now just use a decent desk lamp or decent room lights and keep it simple. There are two key parts to this video, the webcam and the software. I'm making some assumptions here but most of what I will talk about will apply well beyond these assumptions and across platforms. One, you are using a laptop that is less than five years old. Two, you are using Windows 10 and the Chrome browser. Three, you have a second USB webcam separate from the one built into your laptop. Four, you are not technically savvy. For the sake of simplicity and quality, I recommend you get a Logitech webcam. In the description below is a link to Amazon where you can purchase the current model I recommend. These links do help fund this content and do not increase the cost to you. Logitech has been consistently good quality over the decades I have been using their products and so I'm very comfortable recommending an investment in their product. The Logitech web camera that I recommend works with the Logitech Capture app on Windows 10. This allows you to control things like focus, exposure, color and other features of the webcam. Without some form of control software, most webcams will autofocus, auto white balance and auto expose. This may lead to an undesirable visual result and technical difficulties while gaming. If you're looking at other brands, be sure to find out what type of control software is available. If you already have a Logitech camera, the app tends to be compatible with older models as well. The cameras are usually simple plug and play, so you simply plug the camera into an available USB port. Windows will normally automatically install the drivers you need, but not the software. Although you may be prompted to install the Logitech Capture app, in which case you should. The camera I recommend comes with a basic stand, which is fine for use with the online terrain crafting system stage as is. However, if you want a little more flexibility, or if you have increased the height of the stage, you can attach a mini tripod to the mounting screw hole below. I know what you're thinking. Why do I need two web cameras? Well, the answer is pretty reasonable. Uh, you need the players to see two things. Your face as the game master, and the terrain you're playing on. Tabletop role-playing is a social experience and it's always best to be able to see everyone. For this, you need two cameras. You have one in your laptop already, so the other one is for the terrain. If you're one of those people who may want more than one terrain camera and set up different stages for different scenes, there is a technical limitation that starts at three or four cameras, where if you have that many that are the exact same model or the same series of models, the additional cameras may not be recognized. This may not be the case with different series and brands in your mix of cameras. So you have the camera connected, the app is running, the lights are on, the terrain is ready. Now what? Now there are many ways to use this with different apps and software and websites and so on and so forth. This is not the only way to do it. This is one way to do it. To run your game, you want something that is simple for you to use and simple for your players to use. In my real world line of work, I know exactly how frustrating technology can be for people. Trust me. When it comes to usability, I've considered this from the standpoint of making it as easy as possible. To this end, I recommend the site whereby.com. There is a link below. 
This is a super simple web conferencing site which I have used for years. There are no software downloads and it is easy for players to join your game without any accounts or gateways. You can secure what they call a room, which basically gives you a dedicated link to your video chat that you can share with anyone. You are able to lock the room for privacy at the top left of the screen and the free version can have up to four people as of the upload of this video. When you first enter into your video chat room, it will display a view of one of your webcams. Be sure to use the little drop down box and select the webcam you wish to use for your face. If it does not, then click on the request permission button. You are giving permission to the page to access your webcam and send the image and sound to others. At the top, there is a little camera icon at the end of the address bar. Single left click on this and single left click on allow. Those instructions will work for all your players as well. Okay, so now everyone's in the room. So how do you share your terrain camera with them? Ah, this is where the DMG magic happens. You won't need any additional software or anything fancy to display your terrain. You won't need another browser or another login. All you need to do is open up a new tab in the Chrome browser by single left clicking on the little plus symbol above the address bar, delete anything that's already there and type in the dmg.info forward slash camera and press enter. If the camera doesn't display or is blocked for some reason, single left click on the camera icon at the end of the address bar and select the continue to allow radio button and or single left click on the camera drop down list and select the correct camera. Then single left click on done. This is a simple script that just displays your webcam and does not record anything. This will automatically display the webcam not being used at the moment. Now at the top, single left click on the whereby tab. At the bottom left, single click on the share button. In the resulting window at the top, single left click on Chrome tab. From the list, single left click on the DMG Info camera view. There you go, you now have all your players visible and the terrain camera. All you need to do is roll for initiative. If you would like to test the site, you can join the community video chat by following the link on my website, the dmg.info. This is a paid version which allows a lot more people and also to record sessions. Thank you to everyone who has already made a purchase of the online terrain crafting system templates and the print and paste materials. You are what makes this channel continually happen. Thank you. On the left is the next video in this series about photographic backdrops. On the right is my most recent video. If you like this video, click the like button.